In part one, one of the ideas that I pushed was that for a liquid to carbonate effectively, it mustn't have any particulate matter, nothing for those CO2 bubbles to attach to rather than the liquid itself. If we take a look at these two liquids in front of me, the one on your left is gonna struggle to carbonate because it's got a lot of solids in there. The one on your right is gonna have no solids, so it's gonna carbonate very effectively. In today's drink, we're gonna take a look at using sparkling tea, and a really effective way to quickly make a sparkling tea or sparkling tea soda. Whenever we're creating bespoke ingredients, whether it's syrup, sparkling teas, oleosaccharums, etc., we need to consider the organic material we're working with. With tea, it's really easy to extract a lot of flavor very quickly, but usually when you make a tea, you're using hot water. Hot water will extract flavors a lot quicker, but it will also start to extract bitter flavors and compounds in a very aggressive manner. One of the nicest ways to work with teas is by using cold water, essentially making a cold infusion. That's gonna allow that infusion to happen slowly, delicately, and create a nice bright base for our sparkling soda. It also comes with the advantage of having a pre-filter in there. Tea bags filter down to a small micron level. As we put them in and rest them in there, it's really easy to clean the vessel at the end. All we've got to do is add just some nice cold water, some tea bags, in this case, chamomile tea, which is gonna match beautifully with on Mancino, Bianco, and Brato in a nice high ball we're gonna make later in this video. So we're just gonna let this rest for a while. We're gonna come back in about 20 to 30 minutes once this has had time to infuse, and then we're gonna make a nice, delicate, bright Mancino and Brato spritz. So now our chamomile tea has had some time to infuse nice and delicately. We can turn it into a soda. As you can see, it's got a beautiful pale golden hue, but it's also very clean and clear in terms of particulate matter. Once we've carbonated the tea, the spritz we're gonna make is gonna contain Bianco Ambrato from Mancino Vermouth. This has notes of grapefruit peel, chamomile, elderflower, mint, gentian, and bitter orange. So let's get to it. So let's go through the process of carbonating this tea. We're gonna add it to the vessel, and then we're gonna add a soda charger, purge, soda charger again, put it in the fridge to get it nice and cold, and then we should have our sparkling tea. Making sure we've got the seal inside so that all the gas is forced into the liquid. Thumb tight, we had our first charge. We're then gonna purge that gas out after a strong shake. Add two more charges and then rest in the fridge. So join me once this is nicely carbonated. Okay, so now we're back. We've got a beautiful, cold, carbonated chamomile tea. We've purged the gas out of that excess space in there. And we're gonna start building our chamomile and Mancino Bianco Ambrato spritz. First thing we need to do is add some ice to our glass. Second thing, we're gonna add a little bit of grapefruit cordial that we've made ourselves nice and fresh. It's two parts grapefruit juice, one part one-to-one -one sugar syrup. I'm gonna add 40 mils of Bianco Ambrato, classic vermouth, and then we're gonna to top off with our sparkling chamomile soda. So if we remove this now, pour directly on top, we should have nice effervescent fizzy chamomile tea soda. The last two things we're gonna do, of course, is give it a stir to integrate all the ingredients so the flavor is consistent throughout. And then of course, because one of the notes in Mancino Bianco Ambrato is grapefruit, we're gonna add a grapefruit wedge to the top of our cocktail. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me this afternoon as we look through carbonation. That is a Bianco Ambrato spritz with grapefruit and chamomile soda tea.